What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set a dynamic wallpaper that changes every single day or when you perform a certain action on your phone. So I've had a few requests to make this video and now that iOS 14.3 is out and we have the new feature available in the Shortcuts app that makes this possible, we can all do this. So let me first show you how this works and then we'll get into how to create your own dynamic wallpapers. Now the way I have it set up on my phone is that every morning at sunrise my wallpaper changes automatically but just to show you in this video really quickly I have it set to change the wallpaper when I activate low power mode so I'm gonna go to the control center activate low power mode and you'll notice that the wallpaper changes right there we do get a notification and I will show you how to disable the notifications as well so you don't get that every time when this automation runs but you can see there it worked it changed the wallpaper dynamically when i activated low power mode but again you can change it so it doesn't just have to be when you activate low power mode or something like that it could be based on the time of day or specific days so let me go ahead and show you guys how this works and also if you guys want a lot of really good wallpapers really high quality wallpapers my discord server has a channel just for wallpapers so i always share my wallpapers over there as well and if you want to check that out it is linked down in the description below it's free to join all right so let's go ahead and get into this so what you guys want to do is go into the photos application and you want to create a new album called wallpapers so you can see i have an album for wallpapers right here and i have 35 different wallpapers in there so you just want to go ahead and create a album for wallpapers and of course you can add previous photos to the album and you can add to it in the future as well but after you have that set up we want to go into the shortcuts application so go ahead and open up shortcuts you want to go ahead and tap on the plus in the top right and we're going to add action and we're going to search for find photos as you can see it shows find photos right here let's go ahead and tap on add filter and the default filter it adds is album but it's for recents so you want to tap on recents we don't want to choose from our recent photos we want to choose from our wallpapers album right there so just search for wallpapers and go ahead and tap on wallpapers then you also want to sort by and you want this to be random it doesn't have to be random but you can sort it by random or whatever you want to do there then go ahead and limit so you want to limit the amount of photos that this shortcut pulls in so you only want it to pull in one wallpaper at a time so make sure that's set to just get one item after that you want to tap on the plus right here and we're going to search for set wallpaper now so now that we have the wallpapers right there we're going to have it so it sets it to our home screen or our home screen and lock screen so if you tap on where it says lock screen and home screen you can either change it to just be your home screen or just be your lock screen or both i personally like having the same lock screen and the home screen so i'm going to go ahead and tap on done let's go to show more and you want to disable show preview and now you also get the option for perspective zoom so if you want perspective zoom to be on or off you can toggle that on right there and then after that you just go ahead and press on done and then name the shortcut so i'm going to name mine dynamic wallpapers tap on done and then you'll see the shortcut you created right there with two actions now we want to go over to automation and from here you're going to tap on the plus on the top right and we're going to create a new personal automation now this is where you can choose if you want the wallpaper to change at a certain time of day if you want it to change when you you know connect to wi-fi when you set it to airplane mode low power mode when you plug it into a charger you have all these different actions so whenever you want your wallpaper to change that is what you select right here now again me personally i like having mine set to time of day and then to sunrise and i'll just do at sunrise right there but you have different options for that that way i wake up to a new wallpaper every day which is actually pretty cool and i really like that then you have repeat daily weekly or monthly so maybe if you didn't want your wallpaper changing every single day maybe if you just wanted it for every week you could go ahead and change that right there as well and you can actually choose you know which days but i'm just going to keep mine on daily right there go to next and you'll see add action right here tap on that and search for run shortcut and you'll see run shortcut right there go ahead and tap on that then you will see it shows right here shortcut you go ahead and tap on that and you're going to search for whatever shortcut you just created mine was named dynamic wallpapers but whatever you named yours you'll find it when you search for it right there go ahead and tap on that go ahead and tap on next you want to disable ask before running don't ask and then tap on done and boom you are done so let's go ahead and try this out i'm going to create another one with low power mode just to show you guys again all right so now i can show you it working when i turn low power mode on but you'll see there it does also change every day at sunrise so i'm going to go back to the home screen go ahead and enable low power mode and you will see that the wallpaper has dynamically changed 
Now we do get the notification there and I wanna show you guys how to disable that notification. So let's go into our settings. We're gonna to go to screen time and then to see all activity, then scroll all the way down until you get to notifications. And from here, you wanna tap on show more and go until you see shortcuts right there. Now me personally, you can see I cannot tap on shortcuts. So to get past that, all we want to do is go ahead and tap on daily average up top right here, then you'll be able to get to that. So oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go down to shortcuts and you can see there, now I can press on shortcuts and now I can disable the notifications, all notifications for shortcuts. So now we're gonna go ahead and run it again and I'll show you guys that you do not get a notification. So we're gonna go ahead enable low power mode and you'll see the wallpaper changed and we do not get a banner notification right there which looks much cleaner and just makes this whole process a lot more seamless so yeah there you have it guys that is how to set dynamic wallpapers on your iphone on ios 14.3 and later and again if you guys want access to all of these wallpapers i do have a discord server right here with a channel dedicated to nice wallpapers and people are posting wallpapers every single day myself included so definitely go ahead and join the discord server that is linked down in the description below but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did i would appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and of course make sure you subscribe for a lot more helpful videos and tutorials just like this one but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon